What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com And in the last NASA video, we took on Marshall and ended up getting the win 35-14. to It was one of our better performances of the season offensively, defensively. Everything went very well and what was interesting, I didn't notice this until I just saw the screen, but Marshall's halfback, uh, the Bradshaw kid, had 298 all-purpose yards. It didn't feel like it but apparently he just done a little bit of everything for them. It's very rare to see the verbiage all purpose in this little stat line. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. Now today we are going out of the conference and we are taking on the mighty LSU Tigers. They're fourth in the country. They're having a great season so far. You can look at their stats. They're doing everything pretty well. They obviously got more talent than we do. It's going to be an uphill battle, but this is the goal. You know, we want to be like the greatest program ever. But we got to get through LSU and become like the top dog in the state in order to get there. So I figured it'd be fun to play them every other year, perhaps, until we maybe get invited to the SEC. And then we could play them every single season, which would be pretty cool. Now, LSU, they run a pro-style offense, 4-3 defense. I play them many times. I know what to expect there. But hopefully we could play clean football and maybe pull off the upset. We had great news in the previous video. We got a commitment from Larry Holden, the strong safety. So we got two commitments in the regular season, a strong safety and an outside linebacker. So we are done with recruiting for the remainder of the season. So this will be the last time I'll talk about recruiting until we head into the offseason. But those are good pickups. Glad to have them in the fold. We'll try to remember that these are the first two guys that joined our program. It is award season time, and this is the first time we could check out the award semifinalists. Now, I've already went ahead and looked at all of the awards, all of the nominees up to this point, and I can go ahead and tell you we don't have one single player going up for any of these awards, which kind of makes sense. I can't think of one single player on our roster who's just put up crazy numbers uh, for their position. So going forward, if I find somebody on our team that sneaks into one of these spots, I will let you know. Otherwise, we're not going to see this for every video. There's no point if it doesn't revolve us. Here is our team info screen. Not a whole lot has changed. Ricard, Jackson, Davis, Cannon. We now got a new... No, Morris is still a sack leader. I think he's been there for a while. And interceptions is still Mason. Just not a whole lot has changed. It's been pretty steady throughout, which is kind of different what we've seen last couple uh, seasons and like in my previous dynasties and such. But everybody's kind of doing their part. Uh, thankfully, just don't turn the ball over on offense and just make plays on defense. And that's just kind of the name of the game. And we can check out LSU's team info screen. They are number one in their division. Just, again, having a great season. They don't have any injuries. Looks like Jamarcus Russell is putting up some decent numbers. They got a running back averaging over 136 yards a game. I'm pretty sure the Broussard kid is an impact player. We'll find out here eventually. And on defense, they got a little bit of everybody kind of doing their thing. And then the last game, they beat Ellis or Auburn 28 to 20. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that are on my site. First of all, rosters, my 128 megabyte PlayStation 2 memory card with over 20 name roster files for every NCAA football game. This is the perfect way for you to get a ton of roster files if you still play on the PlayStation 2. I also have my brand new apparel shop. This has been a request from several people for a while with some good ideas. And now I have my logo and my name on a bunch of different cool stuff from shirts to hoodies, long sleeves and tanks and whatnot. I got two designs so far. I got my main logo and I got Playbook Gamer written out in the Letterman font. And last but not least, you head over to my vault. This is my entire file collection that you have complete access to. There are thousands upon thousands of files that you can download, print, and copy, do whatever you want to with them. I got a bunch of things in there. All of my books. I got Dynasty Files. Technically, I just got one for now. I got spreadsheets for a lot of game info. Then team playbooks, play images, my entire playbook collection, Dynasty Trackers. I even have a franchise tracker and a call sheet. So make sure you check all this out. A lot of good content. Looks like we got a day game in Baton Rouge. It's been a while since I've played in this stadium, but it's always fun. One of the best stadiums to play in. My volunteers are heading down to Baton Rouge this weekend for a big matchup against the Tigers. Can't wait for that one. Perfect weather. That's good. Now, my expectations are zero for this game, and it should be. The goal is to not have any injuries. 
two teams fight for the right to take it home. That would be nice. Here come the Tigers. Here come the LSU Tigers. Good looking uniforms. Like one of the few teams out there that wears their white jerseys at home. And I switched up our uniforms. You saw a little bit there. We're going all green today. I'm going to fool around with that, see if I like it or not. They're going to highlight the Broussard kid. Again, I'm thinking he's an impact guy, and if he is, we're going to have a tough time to trying to take him down. They're picking the Tigers as expected. Let's go to the coin toss. I am one. I'm going to get the ball first. Why not? We got nothing to lose in this game. So let's go ahead and get the ball first. Now let's go and check out their roster. Starting off, Jamarcus Russell, redshirt sophomore, 84 overall, 74 speed, 6'5", 248. Now, he finished his career wearing number two, but I think his freshman and sophomore year, he had it a four, and he switched them over. Now, halfback, yes, Ali Broussard, he is an impact guy, so our entire defensive strategy is to try to avoid getting embarrassed by this guy. But their backup, Joseph Adai, if anybody remembers him back in the day, and I mean, just really good talent back then. You got to remember, they were, what, two years away from winning the national championship? So they got several national champions on this roster. Really good fullback, Jacob Hester. He ended up being like one of those local legend type guys down there. And he wears the famous number 18, which is a special number for them. But a really good athlete. Wide receiver, Dwayne Bowe, yeah, he played in the NFL. Skylar Green and uh, Craig Davis, early do set. Just a plethora of talent in a wide receiver, and they always seem to have bodies, good bodies at that position. Looks like their top tight end is out today for two games. He must have done something pretty bad. Uh, but they got backups they are going to do just fine. I don't know if they're going to need them much today. You look at their offensive line, 97, 80, 89, 87, and 85. So their left tackle is one of the best in the country. Again, I think they run a 4-3, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 85 and 87 on the ends, and their backups look to be pretty decent as well. They got really big defensive ends for them running a 4-3. 275 pounds, 274. Defensive tackles, look at this, 94, 92, then 84. Just a loaded with good bodies. And then they have on the linebacking core, 82, impact middle linebacker, 89 overall, 84 overall, the right outside linebacker. You look at their corners, uh, 85, 84, 84. We may be able to do something against these guys today. I don't know. We'll see. Impact free safety, 96 overall, LaRon Landry. Just an amazing talent. And 87 overall at strong safety, 87 speed. Average kicker, average punter. I think we're ready to go. LSU has lined up trying to think last time I played in this thing. I'm sure I maybe in the Duke series I played them. Just don't really remember. I'm going to let that one go into the end zone. This one's going to be down in the end zone. All right, starting off, I do want to make a couple of adjustments. Let me put fair... And we may do something like this. And let's start off with something pretty simple. Let's do a halfback dive. Today we get to watch We're going man nickel. The I will probably run to the left on this when the blocking holds up. Well. Yes, we're going to get something out of this maybe. Just, yeah. I'm scared to death of that impact guy. I didn't want him to hit us. So we got, what, four yards out of that, which is fine. Oh, they got an impact free safety, so I'm not going to go after him too hard. What I am going to do is something like we can go to one of our screen plays. Let's go double screens. They're going zone. I'm going to go to our halfback, whoever it is. It's Jackson again. I'm going to run clock. Might as well. Try to play a little defense that way. Eh, go over here. Good play, good play. First down. First and ten. Let's go here and let's run an RPO. Man nickel, depending on the shift, I may want to run the ball. But there's not much of a shift. I'm afraid this guy's going to be defending Forte, and he's just going to come right on through and make the tackle. So what I may do is pass this thing, and we'll either go to Davis or Gidros. The clock is running, so we'll let it do so for a little bit longer. Ooh, just enough. Eh, yeah, fixing to get hit. Good catch by Davis. Had a high, high snap on that one. It kind of affected things. Second and five. 
Kept it inbounds as well. Let's run a basic slam with Forte. Second down and five. Man 4-3. Let's see how they shift. I like the shift. We're going to go to the right. Maybe we can get decent blocking. Let that clock run. I have a feeling their offense, especially their halfback, is going to run wild on us. But maybe we can get a stop or two. For now, we'll just control everything on offense. Good block there. Good block there. Great block. We had a couple of decent blocks on this one. Most simple run concept in the game. Good block by the tight end. Then he got a good block by our fullback. And get it an extra 10 yards off of that. Great play. Let's see. Uh, we can go after their corner some more. So let's do that. I'm going to go here. No back normal. We haven't called anything from this formation. Feels like in a, in a couple of games, which is my fault. Half the time you forget what you have. It's first and 10. The They're going zone dime, so we're going to go over to the right. We're going to go over to Jackson. I feel like putting Jackson back there instead of our fifth best receiver is smart because he's just a better talent. Not a bad play. Just almost got the first down. How about that screen game working a little for us? Second and inches. Should I take the chance? Let's go ahead and take the chance. I'm going to go play action, go zone. We're going zone. If we can get decent blocking, if they go cover two, not a big fan of that spread right there. I'm going to try to go after that strong safety with Davis. We're going to let that clock run a little, though. And if this doesn't work, we'll try to just get the first down off the run. Go ahead and snap it. Cover two. Look at that throw. Six points! Ah! Perfect drive. Every play was so effective. Perfect, just great execution across the board. Play action, cover two. And go back and look at this. If I can get to it. So here what one hap So here's what happens. We went ace, big tight end, wide receiver, PA tight end choice. They went in zone. We got a go route going over the top. This safety decides to go this way, and that safety decides to go that way. Just a great throw by our impact quarterback. Just incredible. Right where it needed to be, and that safety couldn't get over there in time. Six points. Lovely. Let's kick an extra point, and we'll get on defense for the first time today. We was able to throw some screens into that. Drive as well. Just w nice mix of concepts. We've done a really good job with that one. Took up almost half of the quarter. We shall kick it, it off. Uh, they, got, they don't have any impact guys on the back end. And I, oh, this is a disaster of a kick. I hit the button badly twice. Oh, that's so bad. They're going to get the ball like on the 40. That was just my fault. I was not paying attention. Oh, on the 35. I guess we got lucky there. We're going to go a lot of cover two. We're going to start off with cover two man. And see how he reacts. Uh, let's see. I'll control the free safety. Play action. Somebody got to him. I wasn't paying attention. I was focused on the free safety, but we got around to the guy. I'm surprised he didn't knock his head off there. Second and 16. Uh, I'm going to do quarters. I was fixing the blitz. I want to do quarters because just in case they run the ball, I'll feel okay about not... Go on blitz. If I was them, I'd run the ball, honestly, but they're going to go pass. Wide open, they're halfback. Almost picks up the first down. I had to go and defend the flat receiver. So it's third and one. I'm going to try something. We're going to go goal line. We're going to go dog blitz. A friend of mine told me I should try this. We'll see if this works or not. Uh, we'll do something like this. Apparently, they always go to the strong side, but they're going to pass it here. Overshot it. They went with a pass. And guess what? We are forcing a punt. I'm going to take a chance on an all-out block. Hopefully they don't fake it. Hopefully they don't come in to protect either. They're coming. Yeah. Either way, we got to stop. Crazy. Somebody get through. Oh, I kind of came through. Uh, he's going to let that ball go, I guess. Get that ball in the end zone. We're in the middle of the field. I think. 
I'm going to try halfback counter. We haven't called this any this year. I fixed it. I, it's a little bit better. It's still not a great concept. It still has its issues. But we're going to try a counter. We're going to do something like this. Impact linebacker came right on through. Made that look way too easy. So it's second and 12. Let's go with tunnel screen. They're going man dime, which is interesting. And they're going cover zero, it seems. We're going to do something like this. Can you hear it? He can hear it. This, uh, if they go cover zero, I'm going to try to go. Let's just go. Let's see what happens here. Nope, they went cover one. I threw that a little too lightly, but it ended up being a great play all around. We scored a touchdown off that play in the last game. First and ten. Let's go and run halfback dive from Ace Twins. We're going man, 4-3. The clock is running. Uh, I don't think this matters. We can bring somebody over. Nah, let's bring the other one over. If I got the time for it, there we go. We may need our impact guy on that side. Nope, good defense. Nowhere really to go. I couldn't go to the outside. Second and nine, I think I'll still run the ball. We, what we may do is go back to Forte. We're going to run a toss. See how he handles this. They are going man 4-3. Let's see how they shift. We'll still go to the left. We'll still let that clock roll. So this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Get it down to a couple seconds. Let's go ahead and snap it. Oh, no, 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 no. Just don't fun. Yeah. I was not going to do that goofy around that impact safety. So it is third and seven. I'm going to try to go for it, of course. I mean, we're going to see if we can get the first down. And they're going zone. I would love to hurry up and snap this, but we're not going to be able to. So that is the end of the first quarter. We won that quarter. Seven to nothing. We need to be careful here. I don't want to throw an interception, but I still want to go for the first down. So they're going man. That out route is just enough for a first. Let's see what these safeties do. Cover one. Oh, great play, great play. I'm getting out of bounds. I'm not letting that dude make a play on me. Great throw by Ricard. Great throw, and the guy went for the SWAT. and just butchered it. It is first and ten. I am going to go back here. Let's try. See, there's a halfback counter out that I fixed. Uh, let's go to halfback Reed. Now they got their linebacker on the right side. They're going zone nickel, but they're shifting. I like that shift. We're going to go to the right. The clock has stopped. Let's go ahead and snap this. Come around the angle. There you go. Great play, Mr. Jackson. Another first down. Good blocking. Just enough. Good job by Davis on the right side. Getting a block. First and 10 on the 17. We can try. See, I got a screenplay in this formation. I haven't even used. We may use that a little bit later. I want to try slot screen. It's first and ten. They're going uh, man. The only thing that worries me is what that free safety is going to do on this play. The clock has stopped. He's doing that. This gives me better hope. Oh, what a throw by Terra Nova. Great throw. That's our man beater in that particular play. Back out. We're go zone. We're going to go to our screen over here on the right to Bram. But if they're going man, we're going to go a little ISO situation here with Terra Nova. End up just being a great throw by Ricard. You see right here. Makes his cut. Boom. Throw it as hard as you can. Now, this was scary. Not going to lie. That was kind of scary. He almost got it intercepted. But still ended up being a great throw. So, we're already we're on the three-yard line. I'm going to keep this very simple. We're just going to run the ball and get a touchdown if possible. Zone 4-3. Amazing shift. Why they done that, I have no idea, but we're going to take advantage of it. We're going to go to the right. We're going to let that clock roll some more. And hopefully we can pick up six points. The crowd is bop, popping. Hopefully we can quiet them down here in about three seconds. There we go. Easy six points. And just like that, we're up two scores on the number four team in the country. 
Bet they weren't expecting that. It helps when you just play good football. You know, when the, now we were one, you know, inch away from that ball getting picked off from earlier. But it didn't happen, so we don't have to worry about it. An impact linebacker just went right over there like it was nothing, too. And another perfect drive. We took up a ton of time off the clock, another half a quarter. So we've taken up an entire quarter of football already, practically. Much better kick. It's not going to the fifth row on the sideline. And he's going to take a knee on it. I'm going back to man. If I was them, I would hand the ball off the 22. And we're going to leave it probably as is. Since they're going slot. Normally I would switch that over, but they're going pass. Good throw. Good throw to the tight end, pick up a first down. I thought we almost had a sack on him, but it didn't happen. They're going with the big... Uh, I'm staying at cover two. I want those guys staying back there. I almost went cover one. Do something like this. Don't run to the right. Counter. Good stop. Now he got five yards, but I'll take that. At least he went down on first contact. We'll go back. Basic coverage. Let's start to go on ace and normal. Don't have to do any shifting here. Big gaping hole. Good hit, but he's going to get his first, which is fine. Another big set, but I'm going to stick with the same thing. Seems like our cover two is doing a decent job of just keeping everything in front of us, at least. Halfback read. That's a face mask. That's a five-yarder. Nope, that is a face mask, I'm afraid. Ooh, it's a 15-yarder. Didn't want to see that. First of 10 on our 37. He took him down using his face mask, and that'll be a 15 yard. But we're hitting him. We're hitting him in the backfield a time or two as well, which is great. March it off, refs. So it looks like our front seven's getting through the line. Halfback draw. Not a bad concept from under center. They get five yards on the play. Eh, they're going back. Yep, yeah, we'll just stick with the same thing. Second down and five. We may get lucky and he may fumble it. They're, they're loving this formation at the moment. It's a pretty good formation. I like it better than I tight. I saved a touchdown, I think, on that one. If I would have got caught up on this fullback, if I would have got stuck right there, that was going to be six points. But thankfully, I got out of the way and was able to get close to him enough to make a tackle. From here, I'm going to go cover one and see how they react to it. They're about to run out of room anyway, so we can just try that. I'm going to flip this. I'll control the strong safety since he's in the middle of the field. First down, just a good throw by Jamarcus Russell. They're about to score on us. And we'll go goal line. We'll do just like an all-out blitz again. We can try that. I'll control this guy right here, see if I can get a push. Oh, I was able to get... Oh, there we go. Good stop. I guess correctly. Sometimes you just got to make your decision if you're going to go left or right. Because sometimes you don't have enough time to decide. So you just pick one and go. I think I'll go on man lock on this one, maybe. We'll see. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. Sack. Awesome. Now, it helped that he's a right-handed quarterback. And he picked a play-action play that takes him forever to turn back around. Some play-action plays force you to go really slow. Then you can finally throw it. But by the end, it's too late. Had a guy wide open over the middle. Oh, well. So it's third and what? Third and goal, technically. It's on the 10. Uh, let's go clown. I think I'm going to go after the quarterback. I don't expect Jamarcus Russell to run around on us much today. So let me do something like this. Look at that defense. Force the field goal. How about that? How about that? Great play. Thankfully, he didn't tip it towards the receiver. Just like that, we're going to hold him to a field goal. Now, there's a minute 46 to go. 
We're going to try to use up that entire time before half. Try to get some points, and then we'll go to half. Hopefully, we don't do anything goofy along the way. That was a good drive by the end, but they needed a touchdown, not a field goal. Wow, just a great half. You couldn't ask for anything better. Let's go and uh, see if we can get down the field. This may go out of bounds. Uh, yep, that's going to be a flag. That gets us on the right hash. I think I know what we're going to call. We are going to go... Do I have it from Gun 5 Wide? I think I do. Is that the one I want? Uh, yes, it's Deep Post. I kind of picked the wrong one. I didn't think about this because I wanted Davis in the, in the on the cross, but that's okay. We got Jackson doing it. That's fine. Looks like they're at least going to cover one. Eh, I think I'm going to take it myself. I saw way too much room over here for our quarterback. Let's just get a first down. Get out of bounds. First and 10. I'm going to continue to roll out some more. Let's go halfback streak. They're going man. Kind of wish they would go zone, but that's okay. We may end up going to Davis on this one. Yeah, we're going to have to call a timeout, I'm afraid. It's not a good developed play. Second and eight. So what we need to do is... What do you have an idea? we got to do our Ohio concept. That'll get us towards the sideline a little bit easier. But they're going man. Hmm. wonder what these safeties are going to do. Cover zero. Can't believe it. Get it, Terra Nova. Get it. I'm going to let you handle it. Oh, oh, he dropped it. So it's third and eight. Um... And this is what worried me a little bit, that we couldn't convert. They're going to get the ball back before half. But if we could get a conversion here, that'd be great. I'm going to go back to Terra Nova. They're going cover zero. It's all you, son. Ah! One for two on the deep ball. They went cover zero two times in a row. I'm shocked. How would they do that? So where are we? We are on the five-yard line. Let's not do anything goofy. We got plenty of time to kill. So we're going to run the ball. And we're going zone dime. This is why you call ace big tiny and wide receiver down here. They don't go goal line on you. Let's do something like this. I'm going to run to the right. Let that clock run. And it won't hurt my feelings if we don't get in on the first time. That means we can run more clock afterwards. Oh, good play. I should have cut up. That's my fault. My bad, my bad. Uh, it, we're on the seven. I'm going to do halfback read with Forte. Since we're on the seven, it's usually six yards and in is when they start going goal line on you. Now, that shift is going to force me to... Let's bring Davis over. Ooh, so uh, who... That free safety, who is he on? We're about to find out. I'm still going to run that clock. Get up. Oh, get up. Ah, oh, dang it. Just, eh, just don't. Okay. Uh, we got one, two timeouts left. Now we're down to one. Uh, third and goal. We're on the nine. Let's not need to do anything goofy. What's the best way to do that? I'm going to... We're going to go, we're going to run the ball some more. I don't need to pass it. It's just not worth it. I don't want to get it picked off or anything like that. We're going to run to the right. That helps shift everybody over. That's great. Let's see if we can get a decent block or two on the right here. Look at that. We're making six points. Get in there. <laughs> get the QB run game going. How about them green wave? Got the green uniforms going, and we are upsetting the number four team in the country. Incredible. Good play, Kyle. Al. Again, this offense has got like a bunch of different concepts, and it's easy for me to forget. I need to create my call sheet and put it over to the side, and that way I can reference it. I just forget to do that. Normally, my offenses don't have that many concepts in it, but this one is going to have it. So let's survive these next 18 seconds and go to half with an 18-point lead. We're going to kick it right down the middle, or close to it. I think he's going to return this one. Oh, go to the left. Yeah, there it is. Ah, dang it. Good job, kicker. Saved it there. But they got 11 seconds. They got plenty of time to do something. 
We're going to go quarters. They're about two plays away from going Hail Mary. They're not going to run it. They're going to throw it. So I'm going to do something like this instead. They're going halfback streak. Look at that defense. Ah, good job, Bale. Six seconds to go. Uh, I still don't think they're going Hail Mary. I think they're going to wait one more time. No, this may be it. Dang it. I got to call timeout. They're going to call Hail Mary on this one. So I called the wrong play, and I don't have the audible set up for it. We're going to go nickel man. We're going to do something like this. I think that was a good call. And they still may convert this. I'm going to try to get to the quarterback if I can. Ah, I can't get to him. He's got all day to throw. All day to throw. Somebody make a play. How about that? We are up 21 to 3 over LSU. Yes, yes, and more yes. Let's check out some stats. 225 to their 64. And look at the battle for the ti Tiger Rag. I've never heard of this before. That's pretty cool. That's literally the first time I've ever seen that. Then you have uh, off offensively, 61 yards rushing. We're doing a good job there, I think. 9 for 10. Our passing game is super efficient at the moment with 164 yards. They got two sacks. We don't have any. Our third down, 3 for 3. We're just playing very complimentary football at the moment. No turnovers for either team. Let's go to individual stats. Ricard, 9 of 10, 164, one touchdown and no picks. And a rushing touchdown to boot. How about that? You go over here, Jackson's got 24 yards, Ricard's got 20, Forte's got 17. So we got a bit of a balance here on our running, but it's looking really good. Uh, receiving, Davis is leading in receptions, which is usually expected. Uh, but a few other guys are catching the ball as well, even our halfbacks. Uh, we got one touchdown out of Davis. Uh, blocking uh, defensively. Everybody's kind of sharing the way up on the tackle front. One or two, pretty much across the board. We got two tackles for loss. Morris and Harrison are two defensive ends, and each one has a sack apiece and no interceptions. All right, we're going to kick the ball off to them. Remember, we got the ball first. Try to kick this down the middle if I can. Looks like a decent kick. He's going to return it, though. Somebody make a decent tackle. Fumble! Somebody get it! Somebody get it! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Huh? Huh? That's the most exciting play in football. I don't care if one team is up 100 to nothing. If a fumble happens, everybody goes crazy. Like I just did right there. So it is first and 10. I'm going to go back to man. It's getting to the point where they may have to just start throwing the whole time because they're going to be so far back. I'm still going to go, man. I think they're going to run the ball. If they're smart, they give it to him every play. Let's see if they'll do that, though. Play action. They went play action. Can't believe it. Ooh, they very fortunate. That could have been intercepted. First and 10. I'm still going to stay in, man. I don't trust him. I, we got to keep that halfback at bay. We don't need to let him run wild on us. Toss. Good catch. I would never trust my halfback to make that throw. That's why I never see me call that play. Well, at least I use it a little bit differently. Second and five. Go we'll stick with the same play. We're going to keep everything in front of us. Going with the pass. A slant rant was wide open. So they got a few yards out of that one. Give that to Broussard. Third, oh, it's third and seven. We're going to go cover three cloud. I'm going to go to Morse. I'm going to go after this guy. I don't trust Russell to beat us with his arm or his legs. Wide open. Great throw. Great throw on the dig route. He had all time to throw. It makes a difference. Uh, they're going nickel. Uh, they're going three wide. We're going to go nickel. Give her four three. Just a bit of a break until we get back to it. Still doing cover two man, though. We're going to pass it. They're hitting those slants and digs a lot today. They're really tanking the middle of the field. Second and three. Digging with the same thing. Second and three. Ball in the 35. Keep throwing it. I actually don't mind it. If they're not willing to give it to their best player, then so be it. High snap. The high snap helped on that one. Messed up the rhythm a bit. 
third and four, but they're going with a really big set. This is what worries me. Uh, let's just, we'll try it. So another third down upcoming for the offense. We'll see if this works. I was told to everybody just move over to apparently they like to run to their strong side. We'll see if they do that or not. Look at that. He did. They ran to their strong side. <laughs> so what are they going to do here? They're going to go for it. I don't blame them. They're kind of in no man's land on the 36. Huge. Man, can we get a stop here? That'd be incredible. They're going ace bunch. Let's see if I can get around this tackle. I think he got it. He got it, barely. Just barely. I'm going to go back to man. Again, I don't trust them. I, if they're smart, they'll just go to their running back. They're going to pass it some more. Good throw. Really good throw to Bo. First down. I'm going to go back to man. I, I'm sticking with it. it. It takes them forever to get down the field, then so be it. If they score, then so be it. But at least it took them the entire quarter to do so. At least they'll feel like it. We're running triple. Great defense by the corner. Going four wide. I'm staying with man. Again, if I was them, I would run the ball. Even though they're choosing not to. We'll do something like this. We're passing. Oh, my gosh, that should have been intercepted. Third and long. Man, if we can get a stop here, that would be great. But they're converting their third downs pretty well. Well, they've only converted one. Looks like this drive, they've done a good job with it. I'm going to go to the outside on this guy. Oh, man, good pickup on the blitz. <laughs> he couldn't find anybody open. What's going on? We're just playing out of our minds today. Just complete opposite of what we've done, you know, in a couple games this year. And we're going to force another field goal. They make this, that'll get them down to 15 points. That's just two scores. Wow. How about that? Our defense is stepping up today. I blame their offensive coordinator, though. I truly do. They need to give the ball to 22 a whole lot more. They're not doing so. That's on them. So let's get the ball back. Let's continue doing exactly what we've been doing. Going down the field, running clock, scoring touchdowns. I think this is another flag. Nope, it's going to go in the in the end zone. We're in the middle of the field. I'm going to go halfback off tackle. Let's see if they shift super hard. I hope they don't. This is really meant to go to the outside, and they are. This will be interesting. Let me go and see if I can cut this back. Just, yeah, just good defense. I had no chance on that left side. I, I could, I think this guy right here was going to get us. Just good defense all around. So it is what? Second and nine? I'm going to run basic slam with Jackson. That's a good shift. Weak side. I, I have no choice but to go right. I think that defense man will destroy us if we went in that direction. Or I could take a chance and move a tight end over. I'd rather just go to the right. So we'll try that. Then we'll figure out what to do on third down. Nowhere to go. I just Somebody came right on through. And it is third. And 11. Now we got a good quarterback. I, we're going to go for the first down. Let's go halfback corner. We're going zone. We've got to be careful, but we're going to try to go to Davis on this one. Not a big fan of that shift. Number eight, back in the I wish you could slide protect in this game, but you can't. I didn't think they added that until like 07. I know you can in Madden 06. I've been playing some Madden 06 lately. That's a bit of a secret, but I've been fooling around with some of it lately. Uh, let's see. We're going to go and snap the ball. Ooh. Look at that throw. Look at that throw to Davis. Perfect throw, Ricard. a boy. Incredible. And just like that, we are on the move again. Let's go. I want to run halfback counter with Forte. Let's see what happens. I want to add a couple more concepts, run concepts from these formations other than just slam and toss. Right, let's bring him over. Let's see if that helps us any. He had to bounce up to the outside. Can he get to the first down? And he can. Can. Yes, he can. So from here, what we're going to do, it's on my mind. 
I'm not going to go after that free safety, but what we are going to do is go back to double screens. And it looks like we're going to go back to our halfback. We're going to go Jackson on this one. I hope they blitz super hard. So we can just dump at the jacks and we can pick up a decent gain. I, this is what the offense is supposed to look like when everything's going well. <laughs> You're finally starting to see it against a good team, no less. Ah, oh, just good defense. It came right on through. We lost a ton of yardage there. Not good at all. So it is second and forever. I wonder uh, what we may do. I'll probably go back to tunnel screen. Go man. They're going man. So we may have a chance to get a decent gain out of this. We got to cover zero beater with Hoover. I'd love to go to him, but he's just not all that. He's very slow, and he doesn't catch the ball all that well. Now, what worries me... Oh, this will be the end of the... Ah, dang it. I completely forgot about the clock. All right. End of the quarter. We're up 15. Can we survive it? Can we pull off the upset? We still got a lot left to go, so let's go back to tunnel screen. They're going man, but they're going dime this time. So we'll see what those corners on the right side do. Everybody and their brother is shifting, I think. I don't know who's on who. I'm going to leave it as is. I don't want that impact linebacker covering Forte. We're going to snap it. Ooh, he's covered big time. Good defense across the board. Nothing we can do about that. So it is third and forever. I think what I'm going to do, third and 17 is super hard to get. So I am going to go halfback direct. I probably could have called a screen, too. I didn't think about that, but that's okay. I want to run some clock. I want to make sure we catch the ball and that the clock is moving. 17 yards is awfully tough, and I don't want to throw an interception, give them a little, you know, momentum, let them go right down the field and score on us. So I think I'm going to play it safe here, get whatever yards we can, and then we're going to flip the field. Snap that. Good coverage. Good coverage. Don't, eh, I probably shouldn't have juked. And unfortunately, we got out of bounds. I didn't think about that. But it's fourth and six. Ooh, no, we didn't. So we're on the 39. I'm going to punt it. I'm going to make them go the entire length of the field score if they can. I'm going to high kick this thing. I don't know where it's going to end up. I could probably do something like this. And we'll see where this goes. But we're going to play field position. Go ahead and snap it. Look at that kick. Look at that kick. Get down there. Get down there. Ah! Oh, you it! <laughs> oh, they're going to call it on us. Oh, you got to be kidding. They're going to get on their 17. Did he, bump, did he bump into him? Wow, what a play this was. What a turn of events. They got the ball. They're super lucky. So he interfered. I interfered with him. Oh, that's my fault. I ran into the guy. Dang it. I did not mean to. I just wasn't thinking. Oh, he was going to go for it. That's the weird thing. He was going to go for the catch. I just tried to stay in front of him so it doesn't bounce to the end zone, but I got in front of him and bumped into him. Wow, what a weird play. Now they're going to get on their 17. Now, I'm going to start going zone. I think they're going to throw the rest of the way because they're down two. Well, I don't know. There's still plenty of time left, so this may be a mistake. We'll stick with this for now. Let's see what they do. I'm going to have to make the tackle. He gets nine yards, though. Look at that. Total of 24 yards total for them today. I'm going to go back to man cover two. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine if they did not call that flag? Hey, oh, good play right there. Good play. Uh-oh, here he comes. Somebody make a tackle. Shoved him out. First and 10. Now, well, look what they're doing. They're all of a sudden deciding to give it to their best player. What a genius concept. Hey, let's give the ball to the guy that we can't stop. Russell lines up in the shotgun. I'm going back to man. I still expect them to run it. They're going to throw it. Wide open, wide open. And I completely whipped on that tackle. I had a linebacker on a wide receiver. That was just a bad matchup for us. Yep, a good beat. Red crosser. First and 10. So they are bouncing out their play calling. So I'm going to go quarters. I'm going to assume they're going to throw. So we'll see if that happens. Not a big fan of that shift. How about that? Play action. Wide open over the middle. 
when Jamarcus Russell has time, he can make the throw, that's for sure. We're going to stay in the same play, but they're going to call something goofy here, I'm afraid. Going with the toss. Ooh, the win with the reverse. That's their go-to. <laughs> Don't go. They're going to go back, right back to it, aren't they? Ooh, they didn't. Good. I kind of, I'm kind of glad they didn't, honestly. We're going back to quarters, but we're going nickel since we're spreading it out. Going four wide. Oh, my gosh. He still made the tackle or made the catch. I thought I was going to get it intercepted. So it's third and nine. Huge play right here. I am going to try to go after him as best I can. Got to watch out for this halfback. We'll go to left. Intercept that. Or not. And just like that, they're one score down. Well, they it depends on this play right here. They're going with the big set. I'm going to go dog blitz. We're going to shift everybody over. Let's see if they actually go to the strong side. And they did. And they did. <laughs> Thank you, Kokibots. <laughs> I hope I said your name correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. Huge stop. We're up two scores. So it's two and a half. They, are they going to onside kick this thing? And they are. We're going to control this guy right here. This is my onside kick formation. I know it doesn't look it. But normally he can kick it right between some defenders or somebody will catch it. It's just much safer that way. All right, it comes down to this. Can we go down the field and get enough first downs to end this thing? We're going zone. I love the shift. We're going to go to the right. Good defense. Came right on through. Nobody blocked him. Second and 10. I'm going to run slam again, this time with Forte. That shift... I can't, uh, we're going to go to the left, I guess. I'll bring this guy over, help us out a little bit. And it looks like they're going cover zero. This is going to get interesting. I'm going to let that clock run some more. Wow. Big stop on that two-point conversion. Probably play of the game right there. Just don't. Bus. So it's what? Third and eight. I'm going to force their timeout. I am not going to... I'm not going to... And they're calling a timeout anyways. All right, it doesn't make a difference. I wanted them to force a timeout, but I didn't want to throw an interception either. It just seemed like a good idea to... go speed option. Let's see how they handle this. They're going zone dime. Probably good coverage to call, and they're shifting hard that way. They're going to do that. What happens if I do... something like this? Just stay in bounds. Yeah, good coverage, good defense all around. So that forces another timeout. So they got one left. I did not want to pass it there. It just wasn't worth it to me to do that. I wanted to force that timeout. So we're still up two scores. Let's see if we can kick this as hard as we can. Should be a really good kick. Like a really strong kick. It's going to go in the end zone, but that's okay. They still got to go 80 yards. They got a minute 36 to do it, and they can. They're good enough to do it. I'm hoping I can force a, an interception of some sort. They're not going to run it, so I'm going to sprint them out. Surely they won't run it. Oh, I want... Well, for some reason, I switched players. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm glad that could that could have been a disaster right there due to my, my fault, didn't it? Well, oh, he can't get back, get back. Oh, that's a flag, I'm afraid. That's a flag. Did you see, go back and look with that. I couldn't get back in time. That was the weirdest thing. He got stuck. You go back and look at this. I got stuck. I don't know what happened there. I'm still over there. It was just really weird. That's, that's just a really weird play. Like, it wouldn't let me move Mason back over to where he was supposed to go. I, you, the CPU usually does that for you. Second and one, I still think they're going to throw. Good open field tackle. First down, but the clock is going. And let's see what they call here. Probably something goofy. Probably that reverse play again. Nope, they're going to pass it. Another screen. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. It took 18 seconds to make, get eight yards out of that. Oh, this is getting really weird. 
Something goofy's going to happen, I'm afraid. Are they going to call that screenplay again? Going to the other side. Oh, no. Somebody make a play. Wow. Just wow. Here they come. First of 10. So they call it. Oh, wow. Just I think that was the same play. They just went to the go route. Somebody get him. Get him. Huge play. Another stop. So they don't know what to do. They're calling the same play over and over again. That's a, a problem with this game. The other games have it as well. They just don't know how to handle this last few seconds. They got the same few plays over and over again. Sack. See, they don't know what to do. Are they out of timeouts? I think they are. And they're going to lose it because of it. I think some of the NCAA next guys can probably fix something like that. Another sack. See, they don't know what to do. They're out of timeouts, and they're calling the same thing over and over again. And that's game over. We're going to get the upset. Just like that. Ooh, they got one timeout. Why did they wait? That's stupid. Good job, Les Miles. That's just really dumb. They're going to go Hail Mary. So we'll just go man cover two. We're going to back out. Oh, I almost had him. He made the catch, but it doesn't matter. Guess what? We just beat the number four team in the country, 21 to 12. You could not have played any better than what we've done today. Like, across the board, we just played magnificent football. Offensively, defensively, incredible. That's the type of big program win that you need to build up the program to where you wanted to go. Insane. We're probably going to get showered. Nope, we're not going to, but we are the winner of the Tiger Rag. Incredible. Incredible. All right, let's check out some stats. It's going to look lopsided. Now, I will say this. I thought LSU put up a lot more yardage in the second half. They ended up with more yards than we did. The second half, they did a whole lot better, but we kept them out of the end zone. Their biggest problem is they threw the ball way more than they ran it. If they would have gave the ball to Broussard two-thirds of the time, they would have beat us pretty easily, I think. But I felt like we'd done a decent job of holding them down to a grand total of 30 yards, and that's kind of misleading because that sack numbers or yardage is involved there. But just an incredible win for us. We could not have played better. No sacks for us. Five on them, and just great. 66% on third down. Uh, neither team had a turnover. Just a great game all around. Oh, my gosh. I just wasn't expecting it. Russell, he looked pretty good. 20-25, 236 yards, one touchdown. But they done too much with him. They didn't have to. Let's go check out our stats. 12 of 13. So I threw the ball, what, three times in the second half? I just kind of ran clock. I just thought that was just our best interest to do so. I didn't feel like we needed to throw all that much, and it worked out for us. Running the ball. Jackson and Forte split the carries. I kind of like it that way, and they both pretty much have the exact same stat line. And we got a touchdown from Forte and from our quarterback. Receiving. Davis led in that with six touchdowns. He got the one touchdown out of all of it. Defensively, Cannon, Lucas, and Spencer led in tackles. Tackles for loss. Harrison, a right defensive end, which you don't see that defensive end do as much as the left guy. And on sacks, we had five. Two for Morris, two for Harrison, one for Wins. Now, granted, half of those came off that last drive when they was calling the same halfback screenplay over and over and over again. But just an incredible, incredible game. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out the top 25 scores for the week. Of course, we beat LSU in a big upset. LSU over Pitt. Georgia Tech over Wake Forest. Florida over Vanderbilt. Then you have Missouri over Colorado. Ohio State over Illinois, Oklahoma over Oklahoma State, Kansas over Nebraska. How about Nebraska, or the Kansas? How about them Jayhawks? Lance Leopold, this is completely uh, different than what we're talking about here with this dynasty. But in real life, Lance Leopold and the Kansas Jayhawks, college game day is coming there this Saturday. Good for them. All right, back to some fake football. Then you got Miami over Virginia Tech in a big ACC matchup. Notre Dame upsets Tennessee. Boo. Then you got Alabama over Mississippi State. Then you have USC over Stanford, UCLA over Arizona, Iowa over Northwestern, Texas over Baylor. Then you have Florida State getting upset by NC State, TCU over Colorado State, UCF over Houston, Virginia over Temple. Then you have Washington State over Arizona State, Texas Tech over Texas A&M, and last but not least, Purdue over Michigan State 40-16. So in our next game, we have 1-7 Rice. 
Now, we got more talent than they do. They're not very good at all, but they run the ball extremely well. If they got an impact running, ball, running back and they just give him the ball all the time, we may be in for a long dogfight. But if we play well like we've done today, like we've done the last two games, I think we can take care of business. And look at our record. We are 6-3. We are officially bowl eligible. That was kind of the goal halfway through that season. It was looking kind of bad there for a minute. And I was thinking, man, if we could just get to a bowl, that's all we're kind of hoping for. But now we're there. We should be going to a bowl somewhere. We got three games left. Let's go through Rice, try to take care of business. And I'll talk to you later.